Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yeah, Read that part right. again. But he answered and said, but Christ answered and said, come on, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He is only sent to you so-called blacks, yes, Hispanics, and Native right, Americans. Right. You are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yeah. You know how you lost? Because you don't know your nationality. That's right. You know, when you first came up and you said you heard about the Israelites. Bring it up. You've ran across some Israelites, but you are an Israelite. That's, That's right. right. You are an Israelite. So you've been an Israelite all your life. Right. But the thing is, we, we've lost our identity. Right. We lost our identity because we lost this here, the true understanding of this word right That's now. right. That's right. Because think about this. If these slave masters gave us Christianity, Baptist, Mormon, Seventh-day Adventist, Jehovah Witness, uh, Pentecostal, if they gave us all these different religions and slavery, are they going to teach you who you are? Exactly. That's the, that's why we got all these churches on every block. That's right. right. That's why all these churches are on every Thank block, you. sis. Go to six and seven, because you first do right. Because you now knowing who you are and that you are a chosen people, right? You have a responsibility. You have a serious responsibility because this world, this society, are destroying our young children. That's right with the Nicki Minaj's, right. the Cardi B's, the Sexy Reds, those women are destroying our young daughter's minds. Because now what do you think they're going to go up to do? Be strippers, Bring fornicators, teach. Uh, let, let, uh, I, I only want to have sex raw, diseases. That's right. That's, right. That's what they're teaching our young daughters. Right. Right. So it, the narrative has to change at home. That's right. And it starts first with you knowing who you are. That's right. That's why you have to know your nationality. Because remember, Christ said he only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's, That's right. right. If you calling yourself something else, he ain't coming for you. Right? Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6. And she was shamed face when you said that. But you know that's what they teach you. On public right? on songs, like that's the, the, the normal consensus of social consciousness. They're trying to teach our sisters. I like exactly. Like, like, I, I, I'm, that's, I was, that's, that's, um, that's a very hard community. I bet, I bet. Yeah. It is, because you got daughters. You know, so that's why I said it has to start with you. Like, also before me, he was showing you that you have to keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. And this whole book is full of his law, statutes, and commandments. from the Holy Bible, the King James? Yes, we are. That's right. That's the only Bible we read from. That's the only one. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 6. Yo. And these words which I commend to thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. So what we're going into is teaching our children God's laws, because it's our job. It's not the job of the television, and it's not the job of the uh, teachers at school, because they're not teaching God's laws, That's right? Because right. there's a lot of things. Give me uh, ten minutes. There's a lot of things that this world says is okay, right? Like leggings. What was the purpose of leggings back in the '60s and '70s? What was the purpose? Of yes. Yeah, Comfort. Huh? All right, my brother. Right, but back then they were, they had another name. They called them pantyhose. Okay. They wore them under dresses right. and under skirts. But pantyhose and leggings are different. They're the same thing. They just they just gave them a different name, sis. Uh, they just gave 
and, and a different thickness because you got some for the summer and right. you got some for the winter. Uh -huh. You know, so right. they just, they pretty much gave pantyhose now their leggings. So their comfortability, well, their comfortability like to wear outside in public. I right. never even looked at it like that until now. It's just question. the same thing with uh, bikinis. What, is, what are bikinis? Bra and panties. Yeah. You don't want nobody to see you in your bra and panties, but then you'll go to the beach in a bikini. What sense does that make? It's the same thing. Let me show you something real quick. Breathe. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So God said, let women adorn themselves in modest apparel. What is modest apparel? I know what modest apparel is. Why, why, why would he want our women to adorn themselves in modest apparel? Like, Tempt others, exactly. Hold that and give me that in Matthew. I think it's 5 and 28 or 48, 27. Matthew 5 and 27. You, you said it right on the head, right? Because a lot of tempting leads to fornication, right? It leads to fornication. And fornication leads to single family households when I, when I or. Now, don't think that I'm laughing at you or anything like that. I'm just smiling at the realism. And that's, how, that's why we come out here. We come out here to show reality to our people because reality seems to be comfortable now. Right. And reality and reality is crazy, sis. That's right. It's crazy. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 27. Bring it out. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart so in his mind the heart is the mind you you right on point sis the heart is the mind so whenever the bible is not, a lot of times when the bible is talking about the heart it's talking about your mind so when a man sees a woman that's dressed loosely it makes him lust right right so in his mind he's thinking of ways of how he could tempt her how he could get her he gonna go spit game right that's he right. gonna go spit game just so he could lay with her that's right and then and then now that's fornication which is a sin right it is right read it again but i say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart so it's the same thing as being a, a married couple right if a man sees a, a married woman and, and and she's good well it's the same thing so you could be single and commit fornication, right. but if that person's married, then it becomes adultery. That's right. Right? Because it's how many how many uh married women out here commit adultery? Bring it up. How many married men out here commit adultery? Bring it up. Because they're looking at that woman and they lusting after that woman who don't look like their wife at home. That's yes, right. right. Right? So this book was given to us for a purpose and a way of living righteously. But this book has been really taken away from us. They have they don't teach this book in the church. A man says what he feels Bring instead up, of right. speaking what God says. That's right? I right. right. right, read it again. Now go back to Timothy. Go back to Timothy. Come on. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So my brother, what we're going over right now is talking about women adorning themselves in modest apparel. Nicki Minaj, does she dress modestly? Cardi B? Sexy red. When you see them type of sisters on TV, what, what crosses your mind? Bring it out. Huh? Say it again. He said a bill. A bill? <laughs> that ain't gonna cost her. That ain't gonna cost to get with bill, right? You exactly right. That's right. <laughs> but they're not just modest Go ahead, sis. I can say honestly that um, I, I talked to a friend about this We talked about dressing and everything Damn. like that, and I'm I'm not gonna lie, like I felt like kind of like stiff-hearted toward that conversation because I felt like in the past, like women were judged by the way they dress or things happened to them by the way they were dressed, and I kind of got into the comfort of women should be able to wear to, what they want to do what they want. That's what this world teaches. You know, as a matter of fact. That's what this teach. That's, That's what this teach. Because in the Bible, 
Christ don't look like this. That's right. But this is a different Christ that brings a different spirit. Bring that says, out. you're independent. You're a strong She's black woman. Real. You don't need no man. You can do it all by yourself. I wouldn't ever think that But that's the thing that they teach, right? That is that's what they teach. That's what they teach, hey, bro. These women out here talking about, oh you, oh, you ain't a baller? Oh, you ain't got the bag? Oh, you can't holler at me? You know what I'm saying? That's what they teach. They teach that uh, you got to pay to play. You know, that's what this world teaches. That's right. Read that. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So the woman's going to adorn herself in modest apparel so she don't cause the man to lust, right? Because right? when that man lusts, that woman might go. She Even if she married, she'll go. And what's that? That's adultery, right? And now you don't know if that man has a disease or not, right? Because a lot of times women and men, they sleep together on the first night. There's some rappers that say, I'm only in town for one night. That's right. I got one night to do it all. And they're looking for the women that's going to do it all. And they out there. You know why? Because they, they've they uh, been destroyed from lack of knowledge that's of right. God's word. That's right. Come on. And like men also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness. With shamefacedness meaning, oh man, hold up. Because I see you keep trying to cover yourself up. Because I'm a little uncomfortable. The word makes us uncomfortable. That's no, right. It's, it's not even due to the word. It's because I'm by men and I don't That's feel like I'm That's your spirit. Like your spirit bear witness. Right, right. right. It's been, so yeah, your spirit is starting to bear witness with this, that, like, hold up. These men of God here. That's you know right. what I'm saying? I should be carrying myself like a prince, a princess and right. a daughter of God. That's right. You know That's what I'm right. saying? Because we carry ourselves totally different than what we used to. That's right. You know, when we was before we uh, learned this truth of who we are, because that's where it starts at, knowing who you are, your nationality, and being truly true to your father, your parents. Because he right. gave us rules and regulations. That's you right. got rules for your daughters, right? And if they don't follow them, you punish them, right? The way we live in today is our punishment. That's right. Because we're not following our God's rules That's and, right. His, and right. His laws. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 